Hello again everyone, so here we are with the brand new inbox Maytag Satellite. So this is brand new, old stock, never been used. So here's just a look around the box. It's been a little bit bashed in here, I don't know if you can see that. Whether that's happened in transit or that's been like that for a while, I don't know, but as long as everything inside's okay, then I'll be very pleased. So there you go. So these machines were introduced in around 2005 and I think they were discontinued sometime around 2009 um, and I never actually bought one at the time and I was kicking myself when they got discontinued so I'm so glad to get this opportunity to buy another. So let's change the camera angle and we'll have a look inside. Alright so we've got the scissors at the ready. So it's just a case of cutting this tape across the box. It's come a bit loose on this side, but it's definitely factory sealed because it's it's taped down this side of the box, the original tape. So anyway, we'll just make the incision. There we go. Now if you're wondering why Maytag couldn't brand this Hoover in the UK is because by the time this machine was released the um, Hoover company had separated in the US and the UK Maytag owned Hoover in the US and Candy owned Hoover in the UK so by the time this machine was released in 2005 um, Maytag didn't own the rights to use the Hoover name in the UK which is why they had to brand it Maytag Satellite um, so it was of course called Hoover Constellation in the US. But it's just a bit of a shame, but you know, never mind. So we'll just bend this back. Does this. Right, okay, so this is just a, um, a little box. So, first of all, we have the turbo nozzle, which will really be for your carpets. Very much the same as the. Um, pneumatic aero brush except this has got a shorter neck and there's no little cover on here but um, anyway, excuse my laptop over there that just made a noise but anyway um, there we go there's a little brush roll in it it sort of floats which is interesting so there we go it's got some nice Maytag branding on there two wheels at the back so yes that's the, the turbo nozzle so next we have the parquet nozzle, I believe. Very nice, soft, natural bristles on there. That's a very good nozzle, isn't it? Look at that. Got a little, would have been better if, well I suppose they're rubber coated, but if they were like felt that would have been better. Little wheels there. Yes, that seems a very good quality nozzle. This machine's made in China, but you know that's not too bad. So that's that. Let's put the tools over here so they're not in the way. So next we have the pack of tools. I'm going to need my scissors to open and get the. This is in, there we go. So these just look very much like pneumatic tools. You have the crevice tool there. A bit shorter than a pneumatic one. We've got a dusting. Whoops, sorry about that. Jumped out my hand. There we go. A dusting brush with natural bristles. Half hair bristles and a uh, upholstery tool with the slide off brush that also has natural bristles. So that's good, and we also get the little caddy so you can store the tools on board. They just clip in like that, and then that hooks on there at the back of the machine. So that's the, uh, the small tools. So next we have the hose. So 
So it's a, um, a stretch hose. It's a shame that it's clear because that will get filthy in no time. But anyway, we've got the, the hand grip there, quite comfortable. It's got a nice bit of rubberized, um, a rubberized section, sorry, on there. You've also got a little storage bracket here so you can wrap the hose around the base and store the back of the handle for the hose on the machine. So yeah, it's a nice stretchy hose, which would be ideal for stairs, but whether that would be annoying during use when it's floating about, I don't know. But anyway, it's not overly stretchy. I thought it was going to be really like concertina sort of thing, but it's not too bad. So that's the hose anyway. So we have a spare bag, which is a heifer bag, as you can see. Now I believe that these bags are really expensive, um, if you can still buy them, I'm not sure. Um, if they're unavailable then I'll just have to send for some from the US. But that's the manual, I'm sure they're still available in America. So we have the manual here. There's Maytag Satellite. Now I have had um, other Maytag branded vacuums before I, I had a Maytag wind tunnel. I did an unboxing of that on my channel. And I also had a, well I still have a um, Maytag removable tool rack, basically a Hoover Caddy Vac. Um, I sold the wind tunnel regrettably, but anyway. There's the manual. So let's just pop out the little tools section there. And we can get a glimpse up. So we have the the wand here. Oh, that's quite a good weight for that there. So it's a uh, telescopic wand. I must say the quality of this for a Chinese-made vacuum. That's not bad at all. I mean, it is older, I suppose, more than ten years old. So. Anyway, we have a little, I believe that's, um, I think you can park the wand on the back of the machine. I think you can also store the tools on the handle. I'd have to check, but I think you can. So that's that. And I think finally, is the machine itself. Let's move that out of the way here. Take the plastic off. Well, it looks very striking, doesn't it? So very much the same as the original Constellation shape. It's got a, a better handle on it though, it's a lot thicker. Got a Maytag logo on there, some Maytag branding. It's got some nice satellite branding on there as well. So that's nice. So uh, I think I'll get this assembled and we'll have a better look at it. Alright, so here's the Maytag satellite all set up and ready to go. So if you wanted to store all the tools on the machine, apart from the parquet nozzle that is, then this is how you'd do it. You'd have the hose attached to the end of the wand, and you'd have the wand stored on its storage bracket at the back of the handle. And then you'd have the tools attached onto the bracket on the wand, like that. But if it was me, I couldn't have the tool stored on there. I'd have to remove the wand from its parking bracket on the back of the handle and then attach the tool bracket onto the back of the machine there. That would be the most convenient for me. Now, if that was too cumbersome to store, you can, if you want to, store the wand and floor tool separately. You can take the tool caddy off the back there and then you can wrap the hose loosely around the back of the machine and there's a little hook that I talked about there and you'd hook that into the back of the handle there which would keep the hose wrapped around the machine and then to store your tools you just pop the end of the crevice tool which you would have stored in the centre of this tool bracket well I suppose it doesn't matter really, you just slide one of the tools onto the end of the the hose end there and that keeps the tools together and then you just have to store the wand and floor tools. So that's 
a few different options there. But anyway, that's the, the tool caddy there. And the hose. As I said, it's got a nice rubberized grip. Quite comfortable to hold. It does swivel at this end here, so it doesn't get all tangled up. It doesn't swivel at the cleaner end though. So to remove the hose and to insert it, it sort of goes in at a 90 degree angle like that and you twist it until it clicks in. To remove it you just twist it the opposite way and pull it out so it's a twist and lock action. So that's quite good. It doesn't just pull out. So much like an original constellation we have the clasp here and then the, the top opens like that. So here we have the bag. It's quite a decent sized bag I suppose. These are the, the HEPA ones, it says on there. It's got a nice little seal around there. And then we have the pre-motor filter. The cover just pops off. And you have this sort of micro filter affair. Probably electrostatic or something. You can just see the, the motor down in there. So that's the pre-motor filter. I don't know if it's washable or not, but there we go. That's in, is it? Is that in? Yes, that's in. Okay, so that's the, the grill there, and the bag just slides back on. As I said, I don't know if these bags are still available or how much they are, but it looks like quite a simple collar, so it'd probably be easy to replicate. You just see we have a little seal on there, which nicely seals it against the bag when you close the lid. So that's good. Even the latch sounds the same as an old constellation. The card comes out off centre on an original constellation, it come out the back there. That's just a little difference. Got a nice bumper around it. So I think the the shell is identical, I think. The bumper's a bit different and the the handle's different and also the the skirts around the bottom here is plastic and not metal. On original constellations, because this was metal, if you dropped it or put it down hard, it would bend this skirt here and then it wouldn't um, float properly. But here's the underside, just see the exhaust there, have a bit of a carbon dust filter behind there it seems. Even these are just like an original constellation, the little dimples there on the base, you see them? So anyway, where's the rating sticker? There it is. We just see that. If any of you are interested. Hopefully you can read that anyway. But there we are. So let's pop the hose on. And we'll uh, plug this in and test it out. Actually, I suppose I better take the hose off first so I can get the card off. I wouldn't typically store the the uh, card around the base. I normally wrap it around the handle. With the handle being slightly modified on this compared to an original constellation, I don't know if it would allow you to still do that, but we'll have a go. So the card seems a good quality, it's not bad at all. I think the card's probably a little over 6 metres, maybe it is 6 metres, but possibly 7 I think there. Just looks a bit longer than standard. So, just before I plug it in, I'll just quickly show you the, the switch, because I just thought whether it was on or not. But no, it's in the off position there. A nice toggle, it even has the marked positions for on and off, so... Oh, it doesn't snap as much as I thought it would. I thought it'd really click, but anyway, that's the little toggle switch. We even have a nice clip on the end of the card there to secure the, the plug in place. Right, so we'll plug it in. Hopefully it works, because this machine's over 10 years old and it's been stored for a long time. So we'll pop the the hose in there, just move the tools back and we'll just quickly see how well it floats and I'm not, sh I'm not sure how noisy this is but we'll soon find out so here we go <laughs>
runs very smoothly, which is good. So yes, it does um, it does float an awful lot, a lot more than an original Constellation. But then again, this has a 2000 watt motor. Original Constellations only had 600 watt motors. But anyway, I think I'll rearrange the camera angle and we'll have a bit of a vacuum round with this. All right then, so here we are. Let's uh, give this a test run, see how it works. <laughs> well, I can see why people had complained about these. Once you're using the machine and you've got the turbo nozzle on and you're trying to vacuum with it, the hose just shrinks up ridiculously and it makes it very difficult to use. But anyway, there we are. Quite a nice long hose. I don't know if that would stretch all the way up the stairs, but it's, it's a relatively long hose. So, just turn this back round here so you can see it. So there we go. Alright then, so let's see if it will allow me to wrap the cord around the handle like I would do on a regular Constellation, a vintage one. So, so I don't see why not. Whether we can get all this cord on, I'm not sure. Well, it seems to have. There we go, let's pop the, the wand on the back for storage there. Oh, there we go. So yes, that's how I'd wrap the card up. You can also wrap it around the base, but I prefer to wrap it around the handle. I think it's easier to to do. But anyway, there we are. The uh, Maytag satellite. Alright then, so that was the unboxing and look at the Maytag satellite. <laughs> this clip didn't go quite how I had envisioned. I thought I'd be able to get it all in shot easily, but never mind. Obviously not. So yeah, that was the Maytag satellite, also known as Hoover Constellation. Now, if you want to get one of these, you can. They're, they are a discontinued model, but at the date of making this video, the 13th of June 2018, there's a seller on eBay that has a load of these. I bought two off him, one to use, and one to um, keep new in the box. Now, he has loads of them, but he's not sort of, I'm saying he, it might be a she. Um, they're not relisting them, uh, sorry, they're not listing them as like a bulk item, whereas like they've listed it once and then they'd have, you know, however many available. They just keep relisted and relisting and relisting. So, you know, when I link it in the description below, which I will, um, you might have to click view relisted item because it may, may have ended. But um, yeah, the seller seems to have quite a lot of them. I don't know where they've got them from, but the good news is they are available. And if you didn't get a chance to get one back in the day like I didn't, then here's a great opportunity. So anyway, there we go. So yeah, like I said, I'll leave a link in the description below for the item that's on eBay for these brand new inbox Maytag satellites if you wanted to buy one. So there we go. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you like, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you want to see more from me, and um, click the little bell icon as well when you subscribe and that will notify you when I post a new video. And yeah, leave comments below if you have any questions or anything about this machine, then please feel free to comment below. 
So thanks very much for watching as always, and take care. I'll see you soon. Let's just plug it in. Ooh. Got a nice little clip on the end of the... Um... How rude. Hello.